What is the Cartesian product of sets? Let's understand this using an example of two sets. We have two sets with us. The first set T represents a set of teachers. The second set C represents a set of courses taught. So we can represent the two sets like this. Set T contains elements TA and TB and set C contains elements English, Spanish and French. Now we want to write all possible ways in which every teacher teaches every language. We can understand this using an arrow diagram. Set T is on the left and set C is on the right. Teacher A can teach English, Spanish and French. So we draw three arrows from TA to English, Spanish and French. Teacher B also teaches English, Spanish and French. Similarly, we draw three arrows from TB. In short, we use arrows to map every element in set T to every element in set C. Therefore, an arrow is drawn from every teacher to every course. So we get TA, English, TA, Spanish, TA, French, TB, English, TB, Spanish and TB, French. This list is complete because we get all the possible ways in which every teacher in set T teaches every course in set C. Now let's look closely at TA, English. It implies that teacher A teaches English. So our first entry is teacher and the second entry is the course. Teacher and course are separated by a comma and enclosed in round brackets. Let's use lowercase t to represent a teacher and lowercase c to represent a course. So every entry in our list is of the form lowercase t, comma lowercase c where t belongs to the set of teachers t and c belongs to the set of courses c. Now, why do we use round brackets? This is because the order in which we write within the round brackets matters. Here's the explanation. Remember we're saying teacher teaches course. The relation here is teaches. What if we write the first entry as course and the second entry as teacher? Is that correct? Since the relation here is teaches, it would be incorrect to say that course teaches teacher. So we cannot write the first entry as course and the second entry as teacher. From this, we can conclude that the order of elements within the round brackets matters. Therefore, every combination of teacher comma course is called an ordered pair. Ordered pair implies that the order matters. It is represented using round brackets. This is the logic behind the round brackets. This complete set of ordered pairs of teacher comma course is nothing but the Cartesian products of sets T and C. Cartesian products is written as T cross C. T cross C is also a set. T cross C is a set with the following elements written within curly brackets. This ordered pair is the first element. This pair is the second element and so on. Notice that the ordered pairs are enclosed in curly brackets and separated by commas. Remember that curly brackets are used to enclose elements in a set. Here, the order of elements does not matter, whereas the round brackets are used to enclose elements where the order matters. Now we can also write the Cartesian products of sets T and C using the set builder notation. We write it like this. T cross C is equal to curly bracket open followed by T comma C in round brackets, such that T belongs to set T and C belongs to set C, curly brackets close. Let's look at each of our ordered pairs to see if this condition is satisfied. Now for each ordered pair of teacher comma course, teacher T belongs to set T with elements TA and TB and course C belongs to set C with elements English, Spanish and French. Each ordered pair in the set satisfies the condition. This video gives us a basic understanding of the Cartesian product. 
In the next video, we will learn about the properties of Cartesian product.